what's up? Today's video is not a vlog, it is instead a New Year's resolution video. And I'm very well aware that it is the middle of February. Valentine's Day, in fact, um, my favorite holiday. <laughs> so I finally got caught up on posting my other videos, my finals vlog, first day junior spring vlog. It's done, it's out of the way. Now I can basically pretend it's still kind of the new year. I mean, it still kind of is, but you know, here we are. And I'm gonna tell you guys my New Year's resolutions. For 2024, I took a very different approach to writing down my New Year's resolutions and implementing a plan of action to achieve these goals. My good friend Jen, he is another content creator out there. I don't know if you guys have seen his content. I was in literally one of his very first videos ever. He was at a, a thousand subscribers when I first met him on this campus here, which was crazy. So it's crazy how far he has come and he created this template on Notion to achieve his goals last year. He went from like 50k to 300k subs in a year. Absolutely insane. So I decided to sign up for his newsletter and get this template and it's very detailed. It tells you exactly how to use it. No sponsor for this video or anything. No Notion, no Gen sponsor or whatever. Just, just hey, use Gen's template. But um, Notion, you should sponsor me though. Alright, so this year-end goals template allows you to make all of your New Year's resolutions starting at the beginning of the year, and you do a brief overview, you write down your goals and objectives, and then at the end of the year, you go back to it and give an update, see what worked, see what didn't. My overarching theme for all of my goals this year is centered around building authenticity. So I chose building authenticity as my phrase of the year because as a content creator, I think it's incredibly important to establish your integrity. So as I achieve my business and personal goals this year, I'm gonna keep this phrase in mind to build the most genuine personal brand I possibly can. So over my past two and a half years or so going to an Ivy League, I've seen a bunch of other content creators within my niche just flaunt a facade of what it's like to go to a school like this and that is entirely not my objective as a youtuber at harvard college like i just i can't I, like any time like no hate but any, anytime i see stuff like that i'm just like this is not giving a full picture like obviously you can't give a full picture of what it's like to go here but this is fake yeah i try to be as real as i can in my vlogs and all my videos and i hope you guys have seen that for the most part and yeah by building authenticity i hope to share my life experiences and advice through an unfiltered lens so going into my goals and objectives for this year it's split into my business and my personal goals these are two very separate things so we're first going to go into my business goals which is mainly just youtube related my summary for this year for how i would ideally want my content to look like is to follow the fixed upload schedule I'm gonna post every Saturday by 11 p.m. Eastern Time, and I've basically done this for the past two weeks already, um, since the junior spring semester has started. Last week I posted at like 11.30, but that's whatever. So yeah, sticking to a fixed upload schedule will really allow me to get on the algorithm's good side, hopefully. And for busier weeks when I have a lot more schoolwork, I will allow myself to post a YouTube short or two to make up for the loss of a long form video. And I really aim to get more creative, and like there are obviously all the buzzwords, all the buzz titles, whatever you guys want to call it, like day in the life, you know, first day of school, blah blah blah. Like you guys have seen all of that, so please let me know new ideas that you want to see. Yeah, I want to challenge myself more, instead of just, you know, doing a basic vlog, I think I can do more than that. It's an idea that I've had for a year now, I've never done it, but it's 24 hours in a Harvard library. I feel like that would be very interesting, and... It would obviously be entertaining, but also helpful for me because it would force me to lock in, so hopefully... Actually, no, I will do that this semester. I need it. No more hopefully, like I will. I will, I will, I will. It will happen. Also, more sit-down videos like this, any advice videos, Q&As, whatever I can do. And through all of this, it's important to build authenticity and inspire all of you guys to be the best versions of yourselves that you can possibly be. Looking into my analytics, from 2023 yeah so 2023 honestly I don't think it was as good as 2022 and this is the problem with last year because I did not impl implement a good plan of action for achieving all of my YouTube goals so 2023 only 1.1 million views across all videos 342,000 shorts livestream did not do that and there were only 18 videos published total 
and nine shorts. So I'm aiming to increase this about threefold. Maybe that's a bold statement, but I'm gonna try. Those are my goals for content. Next, for audience. By the end of 2024, I will hopefully have 100,000 subscribers, just one milestone in my YouTube journey. And this will obviously be achieved through that consistent upload schedule that caters to my target audience, which I would think is hardworking young people with big aspirations. I know a lot of you guys are in high school right now, maybe some college students too. Definitely aiming to grow my audience more, kind of find my niche even more, I guess. And looking into my subscribers from 2023. Oh my god, yeah, it was 73% less than the previous 365 days before that. So, aiming to increase this about sevenfold in 2024 more like eightfold whatever you guys get the point for my team unfortunately i was dropped from the agency that i did have which did make me really sad but now i'm going to look into other options that might be a better fit for me um i didn't know why they really dropped me to be honest um well i have my speculations maybe last semester i just wasn't really in the right place to be getting a lot of brand deals on a regular basis, especially with my schedule, so maybe that's why. Um, I'm not completely sure, but I would love to get signed with a new agency and just get more help with brand deals and stuff like that. I'm not really thinking of hiring an editor because I'm very specific about the way I edit my videos and it's easier that way for me to upload all my videos on my one laptop. So yeah, that's it for team. Right now, it's just me, guys. It's just literally just me. All right, now on to revenue. So the most I've ever made in AdSense an entire month was $1,100, and that was back in, I think, December 2022. That was when my first day of sophomore year vlog just blew up somehow in India and Philippines. So that happened, and I would like to get my AdSense back up there and obviously get more through brand deals and another new exciting plan is in the works so I think I'm gonna blur that out as well. Just get excited. Nothing crazy in terms of revenue. I really think I can get it back up there with consistency and quality. All right, next. The surprise is merch. Let's take a moment and appreciate guys. This is my new logo. Wow. And this is my merch. Wait, I'm not done yet. Oh wait, but there's more. We also have these sweatpants. Also, with the super cute logo, comes in many different colors. You guys can look on the website. Also, crew neck, similar, very cute. And these are the first three items I've received in the mail and I have a lot more. Stickers, beanies, t-shirts, tank tops, a crop hoodie, another jacket, water bottle mug, literally everything releasing when this video comes out and uh use whatever code is on the screen so yeah super excited to be releasing this and this has literally been in the works for six months now and i really am thankful for my previous agency for um connecting me with spring merch they're a wonderful merch company and I've been working with the designers there, and it's been great. I've been making all my listings um, with all the products that I want, and I'm a perfectionist, so I did not release until I was satisfied with all the designs, with the way the camera and the flowers look, and then the words on the back with the font. If you know me, this is what I say at the end of every video. Yeah, so this is very special to me, and I'm not gonna be cringe and like, or at least Helen Piltner merch with like my name or whatever. Also, just so you guys know, I can say for this color specifically, it looks like a lighter blue on the website, but you will most likely get a blue that looks more like this. It's like blue mist on the website, but it's more so blue aqua because that's what the printing company has. And I don't know why the website says that, but it's this blue, just so y'all know. Okay, that concludes my merch and all my business goals. Now, moving on to personal goals. Okay. No way, my laptop just died. Please be fooled. And now the camera's gonna die. Great. All right, moving on from my business to my personal goals. So we have all these categories, physical, social, emotional, mental, academic, and spiritual. Starting with physical, I'm gonna be going to the gym around four days a week. I've already been doing this for the past two or three weeks or so. I'm gonna be implementing a more effective lifting schedule. Now that I'm off the dance team, I'm 
not only more physically in shape, but it has done wonders for my mental health. Just going to the gym on my own, doing what I need to do for my own lifting schedule is just so good. So good for my mental health, not just physical health. So it's amazing. I think that everyone should be going to the gym or doing some form of physical activity because it improves your lifestyle just so much, just so much. And it did a lot for me last semester, my first semester, or my first full semester off the team. And yeah, just doing even more of this now. I'm gonna be consuming less caffeine. If you watch my most recent finals vlog, I was consuming caffeine every single day and not just like, oh, a cup of coffee, like Celsius, 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 coffee, Celsius. It was just a lot, like too much, like way too much. And I do love my ice vanilla lattes, but I'm not just consuming less caffeine just for the health reasons, but also for my bank account reasons. So yeah. Seven to nine hours of sleep per night. I will say I have been getting six to seven recently on weeknights. It's not the end of the world, but yeah, I'm aiming for at least seven on a weeknight. Also, balanced diet. Food here is just awful, just so awful. I do need to make a like a dining hall what I eat in a week video, something along those lines. It's just horrible. So I try my best to get my greens in. There's no fresh fruit in the D hall, guys. I mean, there are bananas and apples that are like kind of dried up, but like there are no fresh strawberries or anything like that. Uh, it's not Yale. It's not Yale. So we don't have good food, but trying to be as healthy as possible. Social. I'm going to be cutting any negative relationships. Something about me is I've tried to see the best in everyone before, but not everyone's meant to be a friend, your situationship, significant other, whatever. Some people are just not meant to be in your life. So this is a very important lesson I've learned over the past two and a half years or so. And then that goes into the whole being kind to others, but remember that excessive kindness can lead to being vulnerable and being taken advantage of by untrustworthy people. And also cutting unnecessary social events in terms of being efficient and you know getting all my work done. I, it's not necessary to go out twice a week, Friday and Saturday nights, and just stay out until 3, 4 a.m. Last semester, it was like September, I was like staying up until like 4 or 5 a.m. even, like on some nights. And there's this one YouTuber out there who said that a big lesson he learned from college is that nothing good is gonna happen past 2 a.m. And he's so right about that. Like after two, like what are you gonna do? Seriously, like what are you gonna do? Because like you could, you could do fun things past 2 a.m. But then it could literally just completely shift your entire next day. Just mess up your seat schedule, your circadian rhythm, just everything, and it's just not it. On to emotional. So I'm going to be reducing stress by pursuing activities like playing piano more, and traveling more, and reading more. Spring break, definitely want to do something fun. This summer, definitely want to do some good traveling. We didn't do a lot last summer because I stayed here in Boston. In high school, I played so much piano. These days, barely do it. You need to do it more. It's very therapeutic. And reading more. Reading for leisure is hard right now because I have a lot of readings for my classes. I'll try to, you know, incorporate a little later down the line. Okay, then my mental goals are more self-respect, knowing my worth, not compromising for others in a general sense, and exploring interesting topics outside the classroom. I think it's really cool to just like explore like random new things that you find online, you know, reading books, you know, watching YouTube videos about interesting topics just about anything all right academic first 4.0 semester i'm really hoping for it it's possible it's possible might not happen but it's possible i've never had a 4.0 i'm not one of those people i'm literally below average in terms of gpa and i did say that in my last video I'm starting my research for my honors thesis for neuroscience going to be learning a lot more about mri fmri I'm taking research for credit that's why i don't have classes on thursdays and fridays so yeah, I'm gonna hopefully end up writing an awesome thesis uh, starting senior fall and I'm gonna submit that next spring. I need to land a good summer internship, guys. It's just some good summer opportunity. So many people have a summer plan lined up already. I just, I'm scrambling to find something now, guys. Exploring MBA programs, hopefully taking the GMAT at some point or GRE, I don't know, we'll see, but it's gonna happen and applying classes to solidify my career goals, obviously. All right, and then lastly, spiritual. This is not huge for me personally, but I do want to write down reflections more often and then also just read and learn more about religion in a general sense because this is something that I 
often think about but then I can't really articulate like all of my thoughts on it if that makes sense. I mean I am Christian but I don't go to church that often. I definitely just want to learn more about that to see where I stand in terms of spirituality. <sighs> I hope that did not sound stupid. Okay that concludes all my new year's resolutions and now the great thing about this template is that at the end you can put in your annual report of the year. You put in the review of the year, what worked well, improvement opportunities, areas of focus, business and personal, and then your vision for next year. So I'm very excited to be checking in on my template here throughout the year and then obviously doing the whole update at the end of the year. So thank you Jen for this template and again not sponsored but Notion you should sponsor me because Notion is great. All right. My laptop is about to die, my camera's about to die again, and yeah, I think that concludes the video. Buy my merch, I'm going to link the website down below, use this code, whatever code is on the screen, and yeah, thank you for watching, please subscribe, let's get to 100k this year, and k okay, bye.